Blessings, everyone. It's time to enhance and amplify our creative and manifestation abilities beyond the realms of thought and the mental processes. Join me Sunday, May 31st at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, U.S. and Canada, for a two-hour webinar where I will be talking about the very dynamics and mechanics of spiritual creation, setting the inner state and outer stages for success, troubleshooting miscreations and blocks. You can sign up by going to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can simply follow the links below and sign up at the Crowdcast webinar link provided in the description bar. It's time to create like an adept. Hey there, Scorpio. It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Or of course, you may also just simply follow the links below. And the same applies if you want to attend the manifestation webinar that I'll be doing on Sunday. Also, for those of you who like the incoming wave videos, this week's is up and you can check it out on my main channel page by clicking my avatar or going to the incoming wave playlist. So what is going on when it comes to this week? Well, this week, Scorpio, the Hierophant is overlighting all the events of your life, the background energy, the archetypal theme. And I'm actually seeing the Hierophant creating a huge shift when it comes to the rules of the game, the rules of the laws of the land, as it relates to maybe markets you're working in, maybe even education requirements, career requirements, culture. We see a huge turning point with the Her with the Hierophant card upright because there is almost a, a widespread change of the way people are operating and the system that they are operating in. Now with the Hierophant, we are actually seeing these new rules. Maybe they're not official rules. Maybe they're just new dynamics at play in the energy, new ideas, or maybe a new type of flow coming through the office, a shift in the market you're working in, a shift in the way things are done from either a cultural standard, heck, even even professional industries have their own social cultures and norms as well. The Hierophant is talking about a complete overhaul of that landscape integrating over the course of this week. Now, interestingly enough, the new laws of the land, so the, to speak, are actually working in a way that are, it's giving you a chance to maybe even make some huge left turns that you could not have made under the old paradigm, so to speak, under the old way of life, the old way of doing things. There is a sense of opportunity coming through where you are giving yourself the best chance by actually taking advantage of a turn in the tide. Now, the Hierophant card is also going to be clearing away a lot of norms whilst also instituting a lot of new ones. So this could be a week where some people who are maybe not used to change or tend to change very, very slowly or gradually or resist it may feel very, very uncomfortable. Some people may feel very freed by so many uh, abolishments. Some people may feel empowered by so much new coming in that is morphing the landscape that they used to know so well. It really all depends on where you are at and what you are capable of doing with this opportunity. But this is what's going to be lighting up all areas of your life. In fact, I see opportunity coming through panic, funny enough, this week, as we look at the Nine of Swords in reverse. And this is what I would consider to be a, an opportunity through panic. I'm, I'm not getting a negative energy from this Nine of Swords reversed, but I am seeing that it could indicate possibly some negativity going on on your external as it relates to your job, people you're working for, maybe even news when it comes to financial systems, sure. But with the Nine of Swords reversed, I am seeing that is actually amidst the chaos that you rise above or you are maybe lifted above others. And this could be actually something that occurs when 
we are looking at a new job opportunity, a new project, a new contract, something that actually is looking for us or maybe just something that is very compatible with us emerges. I'm also seeing a lot of you actually elevating your status and your stature, maybe even drawing in new sources of revenue and abundance by offering your services to put out fires for other people, so to speak. And with the Nine of Swords reversed, it doesn't have to be as bad as I think a lot of people around you will be making it look. Once again, I think there are certain beings out there that are not equipped to handle change, and some beings out there are dependent on scripts and clockwork existences in order to feel secure and function. That's just where they're at in their level of consciousness. But in your case, this is giving you a chance to kind of duck and weave into a better economic and a better professional circumstance for yourself. As we get to the King of Wands in your social life, when we talk about friends and family, it does look like there is going to be an opportunity brought to you to sort of test your mettle. I'm not sure if this is in a social respect, a professional respect, or even a, a romantic respect. I'm, I'm looking at the King of Wands. This could even just be something purely creative and personal that you're getting a chance to start sink, sinking your teeth into, maybe even something spiritual. In fact, with the King of Wands upright, there is an opportunity for you to sort of claim a new territory for yourself with somebody or a group of people that are considered to be like in heart and like in spirit. Like-minded is kind of overrated, right? Just because we have the same opinions doesn't mean we got anything else. Like heart, like soul, like spirit, like level of consciousness, that's where it's at. The King of Wands is also going to be offering you an opportunity to maybe even jumpstart something that you have been keeping very personal. Uh, maybe this is a, a creative project or a business project. This could be even travel or recreational opportunities or even something that you wanted to give or share with your family, something you wanted to build for yourself or your household. But whatever these plans are, we may have been keeping them, you know, safe. Maybe they've been collecting dust for a little bit. The King of Wands is giving you a chance now, this week, to let it have its debut, even if it's just a rough draft. You have a chance to now get it the support it needs to move on to a better version of itself. As we get to relationships and romance, we've got the Two of Swords in reverse. And a lot of you Scorpio people are going to be feeling that Hierophant energy here as well. As a couple, as a united couple, let's talk about the established uh, Scorpios first. The established relationship Scorpios first. There's a lot of purging going on. And almost sort of a manual changing of the landscape and the laws of the land this week. Now, this could be what we're doing in regards to how we are handling our children, how we are choosing to or choosing to no longer handle certain matters as a household or maybe even dealing with certain friends, certain family members. We may be choosing to put and in, invest our energy more in certain spaces and cut off others. The Two of Swords reversed is talking about a commitment to a very new, clear, and defined future for this relationship, but it is regard you know, it is going to require us to actually start pulling our energies and our activities back from spaces where we have been over invested or to spread out. However, this is also calling more support resources and energy back to the relationship and everyone's feeling very very liberated by these decisions as we get to the single scorpios the two of swords reverse is indicating that a lot of you are most likely going to be meeting somebody this week that may actually have you thinking i really don't want to see anyone else even if it's just really in the early early stages and the feeling could be quite mutual from the other side as well even those of you who are maybe dating casually may be finding that this is a week where even if we're not ready to go towards officialdom, perhaps a moment of exclusivity or a decision or an agreement of exclusivity is in the offering for you. 
The Two of Swords reversed, however, is also making a very clear case that a lot of you Scorpio people may be also doing some cutting off of people that you've been dating or seeing casually, whether it's on again, off again, or just very, very brand new, to make room for maybe a better and more complimentary match. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Thank you.